Hello everybody, I am David and today I'm going to be talking about Wonder Woman, DC's fourth entry in their cinematic universe. And uh, I'm going to tell you guys what I liked about the movie and possibly what I didn't like about the movie or any nitpicks I might have. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, let's start off with the character herself, Wonder Woman, played by Gal Gadot. Um, you know, I, I love the character of Wonder Woman ever since the Justice League animated TV series. Uh, I always thought she was a great character there. I never watched the Linda Carter series, but was always aware of it. Um, well, I, I, I did watch like two of the first two episodes of that series. And I'll admit, I, th I thought it was pretty enjoyable, but kind of like outdated uh, from its time. It's kind of like the Batman 60s series where it's... It is what it is. It fit the time it was in, and I respect it for that and how it gave the character popularity for its time. Um, and then, obviously, Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot sorry, uh, played her in Batman v Superman last year, and obviously she was one of the huge highlights, one of my highlights of that film, too. And I, I was a fan of, of the you know, Batman v Superman. I liked it. It wasn't obviously the best... Uh, superhero movie of all time but I was one of the the side that enjoyed that movie uh, and so I, I enjoyed all the DC Cinematic Universe movies so far starting with Man of Steel and onward uh, Wonder Woman herself turns out to be a great character in this movie we get to learn about her a little bit more on Themyscira when she was just a little girl and seeing her grow up with the other Amazons uh, I actually liked all that a lot. I thought it definitely brought something different that you've never really seen in a superhero movie before. Um, you know, a superhero that grew up with the Amazons on an island hidden by the gods, in this case, Zeus. Um, which I thought was was interesting to learn and seeing even some, a little bit of flashbacks here and there um, to what that... that uh, how it all started um for those of you wondering this is a, might be a little bit of a spoiler here uh if you know the comics wonder woman in some interpretations was created by clay uh her mother makes her out of clay and uh zeus brings her to life and uh that's that's her origin here so it's exact if you're wondering but the cool thing about it is that they don't show it they mention it that that's how she was born uh, so it kind of, because, come on, let's face it, if, if you saw that in a live action movie, we'd all be thinking that was crazy and cheesy. Uh, but just mentioning it is good enough and bypassing it by not showing us that aspect of it, I think works here. Um, Gal Gadot, you know, I was a supporter of hers in Batman v Superman. And, you know, there was, there's been a lot of people saying, I don't know if she should be Wonder Woman because, you know, she can't really act if you go back and watch her and other things. And uh, I'm going to admit she isn't the strongest actress. Uh, but it doesn't bother me too much because I feel like uh, director Patty Jenkins uh, works with her and uses her to her advantage. Like, tries to work around her acting skill, like there are times where she she has to deliver a couple of lines, and it's not painful. So don't give her a hard time. I actually think she did a pretty decent job uh, for what she had to do. Um, thankfully, though, she is also surrounded by a great supporting cast, uh, specifically Chris Pine, who I actually think both of them. Both Gal Gadot and Chris Pine have really nice chemistry together. Uh, they play off each other really nicely. There's a scene with both of them uh, in a boat sailing to uh, London. And um, there's there's a nice little play off uh, off words, you know. Uh, I, I think uh, I think they w when you see her interacting with him, I think that's the enjoyable stuff. And you, you get why, how uh, the director, Patty Jenkins got Chris Pine to bring out the best in uh, Gal Gadot. I think uh, it was the chemistry that really 
uh, made her shine a little bit more. And, you know, the character is obviously very influential for young women out there uh, who need a strong female character to look up to. And I think uh, this movie actually had a really nice message because of the type of character she was in what it brought out by the end of the film. I will say the villains were probably my least favorite aspect of this movie. Um, look, if you don't know by I, I think this is pretty well known. Ares is one of the villains in the movie. And I'm not going to spoil too much about him. But I will say... I, I think I was happy the way he ended. Uh, but the way it took to get to him was kind of annoying to me I, I i was kind of left wondering well we didn't really get much of him um and i'll leave it at that and so i was kind of disappointed with that not enough aries i felt i felt i wish we could have gotten a little bit more and integrated him uh, more into wonder woman's story but you know we got what we got I, uh, the special effects are fine for the movie. I don't think it's the best special effects, uh, you'll see. I don't think it's going to be getting nominated for, um, at the Academy Awards next year. Uh, the score is really cool. I do like the score. They kind of bring back the Wonder Woman theme from Batman v Superman a little bit, but they add more to it. There's, I, I even bought the soundtrack and listened, listened it to it today. Uh, before I went to go check out the film. So I got a taste of what the music was going to be like. I, I just didn't have the images to put it together. And now that I saw the movie, it's like, okay, I know now what my favorite scores are. Because uh, now I can put a picture to it when I think about it. Um, for all it's worth, though, I I liked the way the movie will leave off Wonder Woman, allowing her to be seen in her next adventure, which will be in Justice League this November. All in all, look, I'm going to say this was a really good DC film, and I think this is going to be something that, if you were someone that was disappointed with the last three DC Cinematic Universe films, the tone is different from those ones and the movie does feel a little bit more uh consistent i felt man of steel was also consistent but i've already defended that movie uh enough i i do think if i had to rank them i would put man of steel first i think that is an underrated film then i would put wonder woman then batman v superman and then suicide squad in that order um, I am giving Wonder Woman an 8.5 out of 10, uh, just so you guys know. And uh, yeah, I, I totally recommend this one to go check out. Believe me, this is not like, uh, just because I put Man of Steel higher does not mean you will put it in that way. You know, I, I think people will pick Wonder Woman more over those other ones. I asked my brother what where he would rank this and he said he would rank wonder woman as number one uh so there you go everyone is gonna see it differently but i think this is one will be this movie will be easier to please than the pre previous attempts in uh the universe the dc cinematic universe so far so that's all for my review. I hope you guys uh, like it, and I hope you guys agree with me. If you've seen the movie already, go check out the movie. This is a movie that needs a lot of support. Patty Jenkins directed the the hell out of this movie. She did a really great job. Um, and yes, I'm going to buy it on Blu-ray, of course, when it eventually comes out. And uh, yeah, so comment below and tell me what you guys thought like this video subscribe to my channel especially if this is the first video you saw i could always use a little bit more for support for other videos i do i especially when it comes to superhero movies you can bet i'll be on track uh for those ones um and wonder woman too i hope that happens and i should do the the cross hand oh, see what i did now i can't do it now okay i'm, I'm signing off take care